Hi, this is Al Bain from Al Bain for Leather. I'm recording this in response to a question that was posted on the leatherworker.net forum. A gentleman asked how to make holes into a watch band and keep them lined up straight down the middle and evenly spaced. So after thinking about it a little while, I thought about an easy way for him to do it with limited resources. My first notion would be to make clicker die and have everything cut out cookie cutter style. But for the hobbyist per se, I think that a simpler system that doesn't require a whole bunch of tooling and stuff is probably more appropriate. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the wing divider. This tool right here acts a lot like a compass except it has two pointy ends that are designed to scratch. Okay. We don't want to scratch or mar the leather, so rather than use the tip, we're going to use the sides of, the, of the, the blades and just simply leave a small impression. So we're going to calculate, and I've already done this before setting up here, I've determined the width that I want to leave a mark on the leather with. It's approximately the width of the punch that I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm going to use the inside edge of the right and use the bottom edge of the left one and lining it up on the edge of the leather and putting some gentle pressure down with my finger and just tracing a little line down the piece of leather. Then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. And the result is two parallel lines that have a little bit of space in between. Okay, now if I want to make holes every three quarters of an inch, I'm just going to adjust my divider so that now that it's wider, and I'm going to leave a little impression. I'm going to make a little dot, little dot, little dot, little dot, right in between those lines that we drafted. And now I'm going to take my cutting tool, which is basically just a drive punch, and I'm going to start and say all of the dots are going to be above the punch at 12 o'clock. So I'm going to look very carefully and I'm going to line up my, the top of my punch right at the 12 o'clock mark and I'm going to look that the, the punch is lined up evenly down the middle of the two marks. It's even on both sides and then drive it through the leather. Oops. Now, same thing, I'm going to line the 12 o'clock up with that little mark I'm going to look and make sure on both sides that the punch is evenly lined up in between the marks and micro adjust it and then give it a little, a little help with the punch. Same thing, 12 o'clock lined up and I'm going to micro adjust to where the punch is lined up right in the middle and tap it through. And now the result is that the holes are evenly spaced. The drawback is that you leave tool marks with your wing divider that can still be seen later. Okay? This is a simple, cheap, and easy way to do it, and hopefully this is helpful. Okay, the key to using the drive punch is to not punch a hole all the way through your table. So be gentle, and with the wing divider, don't scratch with the tip, but just leave a little burnished mark on the side using the sides of the blade, not the tip. I hope this is helpful. This is Al Payne. Good evening.